Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Clark, and today we're going to learn how to do long division using the standard algorithm. So there are four steps that we follow. The steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and I'm going to show you how to use these steps with the problem 54 divided by three. So 54 is the dividend, it's the number that's getting divided up, and then three is the divisor. So for example, if I said something like, I have uh, 54 donuts and I put them into three boxes, how many go in each box? So this is the big number that we're dividing up into three. So when we do these steps, we're gonna be using that three. All right. I'm going to zoom out a little so you can see the four steps up there. And the way that I remember them is D, M, S, B. And I think, does McDonald's sell burgers? Of course they do, but that's how I remember the steps. When we do the steps, we're going to start on the left and then go to the right. So we'll do the five and then the four. So it's kind of like when you're reading a book, you go left to right. And... As we use this five, we'll have some left over that we'll use and then bring down the four to meet it. But we're still doing kind of this column first and then that column first. So we're going to just do one step at a time and we're gonna use the colors to help us. So purple, red, green, blue, and so on and so forth. The first step is to divide. And what we're doing is we're going to just use that five and we're doing five divided by three. Well, five divided by three doesn't really make sense if you think about the multiples of three, right? Like nine divided by three is three and 12 divided by three is four. Five divided by three doesn't really work, but really all they're asking is if I have five of something, one, two, three, four, five, how many groups of three can I make? That's all that means. So I can make one group of three so five divided by three is one group of three. Obviously there's more left over, it doesn't divide perfectly, but really all we're asking is how many times can three go into five? How many groups of three can you make? And it's one. So I'm going to put the one up here. Every time you divide, you put it up here because that's what we're doing is dividing and this is where the answer goes. The next step is to multiply. And you're going to take the last thing you touch, which is this one, and you're multiplying it by the three. So one times three is three. We did that because we were saying, okay, well, three goes into five one time. How much did we use up? One times three, we used up three of them, and we're trying to figure out how many are left over. So then the next step is to subtract five minus three to figure out how many are left over that we're still working with. Five minus three is two. And we would want to start all over again and now start dividing, but the two is a really small number and we need to remember to bring down the next digit because we've really used up that five as much as we could. Um, so we did five divided by three is one, one times three is three, five minus three is two, and now we bring down the four. Since we got to the end here, the next step is to divide again. And this time we're using the last thing we touched, which is the four, but also the two. So we're doing 24 divided by three. Now 24 is actually a multiple of three. So you can just do 24 divided by three and see what you get. You could also draw 24 of these little marks and see how many uh, groups of three you could make. So there's 24 tally marks right there. And you could divide it up into groups of three and see how many groups you get. Another thing you can do is skip count your threes until you hit 24. Either way, 24 divided by three is eight. We're going to put the eight up top because we were dividing. And then we're going to multiply it back just to make sure that we got as close to 24 as we could. So the last thing you touch, which is the eight, using that three, so eight times three is 24. And then we subtract just to see if we had anything left over. 
24 minus 24 is zero, which means there's nothing left over. So it means if I had 54 donuts and I put them into three boxes, I would have exactly 18 in each box. There's no leftover, it divides perfectly. So if you wanted to double check your work, you would do three times 18 and it would equal 54. That's how we do the standard algorithm. Um, check out the rest of the videos. We'll keep practicing as we go. They're gonna get easier and easier. And you can get these worksheets by clicking on the link in the description, but you can also just grab a piece of paper, follow along with me and you'll get a lot of great practice, okay? Just to recap what we did here. We did divide, so five divided by three is one. Then multiply, one times three is three. Then subtract, five minus three is two. Then bring down the four. Then we started over. So then we did 24 divided by three, which is eight. Then we multiplied the eight back with the three to get 24. And then we subtracted and we know we're finished because there's nothing left to bring down.